This is my initial assessment of my first ride on Apollo. He is a four-year-old thoroughbred gelding, just came off the track one week ago, had two starts, and didn't do very well. <laughs> so the first thing I noticed was how dull he was to move off my leg and reluctant to go forward when I immediately asked. He also was showing signs of more pinned, annoyed type of ears and not just laid back listening ears. That to me right there is generally a sign of a horse who has been or can become sticky feet. So I'm going to make sure that he respects my leg and respects me asking him to go forward by responding when asked initially. One of the biggest mistakes you can make the first couple rides on your new horse is to let the horse stop on its own or by letting him just do whatever he wants. You want to make sure that you are calling the shots and not the horse. The reason being is because this could ultimately lead to a sticky footed horse who is resistant and doesn't want to move forward for you. So the first couple rides are very important in establishing who the leader is. A simple mistake like this can really imprint on the horse, especially the super smart ones, and may start to cause you issues as you go along. You generally will find these issues in the duller, less reactive type of horse. These same principles should be applied when you are doing your groundwork. Make sure they are giving you A's on everything you are asking them to do, especially when you ask them to go forward. They should be going for now and not in a minute from now. Horses establish pecking orders at the very beginning of new relationships, and we are no exception to that rule. Tomorrow, I will ride again in the round pen. The round pen is a safe place to work out the kinks in the horse by limiting the space on where they can go, and you don't have to worry about the horse having no steering. It also can act as a comfort zone for the horses as well. Very simple fix if you nip it in the butt right away. Another thing I noticed in our very short ride was the head tossing. I did take note that he has a very soft mouth. The bit I start all of my new horses in is just a simple D ring snaffle. However, for this guy, I am going to try my three-piece KK Herm Springer with the rounded middle and not the flat middle. The head tossing, though, was mostly due to me cueing him forward and not so much from the bit. That is another sign of protest. Along with the change of the bit, I will carry a stick with me and give him a flag or a tap on the shoulder if he doesn't go when I ask with my leg. If that fails, I will give him a firm whack behind my leg. Make sure you make your point once and do not nag. Nagging doesn't work and leads to more dull horse. Some of you might be thinking ulcers, which is a great idea. I am in the process of getting that taken care of just in case. I haven't really been noticing any signs of ulcers while saddling or girthing. However, I'm going to go ahead and treat that just as a preventative. I'm going to be keeping my rides short and sweet in the beginning and not to overwork the horse. The last thing I want to do is to overwork him and make him sour and more dull for our next rides. I want him to be looking forward to our rides and not dreading them. The saddle time will increase over time as we progress. Here I am making him canter again. He only gave me one lap and then stopped on his own. So I don't want him to think that he can just do that as he pleases. So I'm going to ask for the canter again and I'm gonna make him canter until he stops when I say he can stop. Good. 
Here you can hear me having to cluck a lot and use a lot of leg just to keep him forward. I am going to nip that in the butt next time with my whip. So basically, anytime he slows down, I'm going to remind him that he needs to keep the pace until I allow him to slow down. Just finishing off the ride here with some bending exercises. He is very green. This is only his first ride, so he doesn't know how to bend and flex around his rib cage. So I'm just going to do a couple laps of this to try to teach him and educate him, and I will continue to do this with each ride. Thank you for watching, and if you stay tuned, I will have future videos of my rides on Apollo.